I wish Radagast could. Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, and today I'm going to be exploring the outside of the Plague Lands, showing you guys what's out here, and exactly what you can do on the other side of the Plague Lands. So in order to get over here, you need to find an Eyes of Fire token from the final raid boss. Now if you're not lucky enough to get one of these, don't worry, because if someone else in the same Iron Temple as you is up here, you can just hop into the fire and jet on over here anyways. That's what happened to me, I never actually got the key. But I was able to get over here pretty easily. I just jammed into an iron temple. And there was probably going to be a lot of people doing this, this this week. So sooner or later, you'll probably find one of the iron temples when able to get in here. Now, if you see that the doors below me are open, you can just walk through. But if you go through the fire, you actually will find a Siva cluster up here, which is quite nice. So I would definitely just take the fire over here and get that cluster. So once you're on over here, you can jump over the other side and explore a lot of the plague lands that we didn't actually see at first in the iron temple. Now if you remember back to the first mission of Rise of Iron, when you actually take back the Iron Temple, you can pretty much free roam through all of that area and it's pretty crazy. Now I've got a pretty good feeling that Iron Banner or maybe Xur or some special event may happen over here one day and we'll be able to just come over here whenever. But for now, the only way to get over here is with that offering. Now it's pretty awesome once you do get over here, if you remember that first mission, you can backtrack your way all the way back to the gondola. Now unfortunately the gondola is not activated, but I was hoping that maybe you'd be able to ride it. Or maybe there's another secret hidden jumping puzzle out here that we weren't aware of. Now, I didn't find anything, but there is a lot of area to explore out here, and it's pretty crazy once you get really far into the back. It's actually bigger than the original Iron Temple, and probably even the tower combined. There's just a lot of areas out here that you can explore. And like I said, you can backtrack your way pretty much almost all the way to the beginning of that first mission from the Rise of Iron, which is awesome. But if you didn't already collect it, there is another Siva cluster out here, right next to this snowy ramp. Whenever you get back to the snowy ramp, if you go jump to the first rock on the left of the snowy ramp, there's actually another Siva cluster out here. And also, if you die out here, don't worry, you will respawn back out here as well. So if you jump off of something or you're trying to get into a crazy spot, because there are actually a lot of crazy spots out here, you won't have to worry about getting another key to come back out here or anything like that. You can just spawn back in, and you'll pretty much always be right here. Now right here, the snowy ramp, if you jump to the left of this, on the first rock to the left, there's another Siva cluster out of there. I already had it, so I didn't want to go back out there and get it, but it will be there if you don't have it yet, which is pretty cool. So there's actually two Siva clusters that you can get here if you didn't already have them. And then there's also that third on top of the original dropping puzzle. So there's three Siva clusters inside of the Iron Temple, which is pretty insane. I never thought that you'd actually be able to get this far over to this other side. I figured this other side was going to be used maybe for Iron Banner or something, but I never thought you'd be able to walk all the way back here and just explore all of this mountain. It's pretty awesome. I really hope they do this again sometime and maybe even revamp the lighthouse, but we gotta wait and see until Friday and the Trials of Osiris comes back, maybe they did that as well. Now this is where I would believe Iron Banner would be spawning. There's something that looks like a door over here, which is kind of strange. There may be a hidden area for Xur to spawn in, or maybe just a special event that we don't know about yet that would definitely be pretty cool. And there's also this little room over here that is very similar to the room that the speaker stands in in the tower, so I'm not really too sure what that's about either. And there's also this giant dome over here with two wolves standing around it, as well as an Iron Banner medallion. So that is pretty much why I do think Iron Banner may be back here one day, or just some sort of special event. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you find any crazy secrets or just find anything else in the Iron Temple, be sure to leave a comment down below. It would be pretty sick if you guys find some crazy glitch spot or anything like that. But other than that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.